Hello people, welcome to Lifestyle Hacks and Etiquette with Governor. And the other time I promised that I'll be talking about the different types of glasses that will be on a dinner setup or a dining setup in a restaurant. And today I'm going to talk about that. We are going to talk about the different types of glasses and then their uses and then what they are actually meant to be used for. Now, most of the times you find a lot of people go out to restaurants, go out for dining events and then there are a lot of glasses placed on the table where they are supposed to dine. And most of them are confused on how to use the glasses. People wrongly, a lot of people wrongly use glasses for the wrong purposes. You find some people using other glasses for beverages that they are not supposed to be used for. So today we are going to teach us all, or we are going to share knowledge on the types of glasses that we have and then their uses what particular beverage to use for a particular glass or what glass to use for a particular beverage. Go nowhere, make sure that you stay tuned with us whilst we share the tips on the different types of glasses and then the beverages to have with them. So I'm going to zoom straight into the main issue of the day. We are going to talk about different glasses and I have with me here about 10 or more glasses and all these glasses have different purposes and they have different uses. So I'm going to start from my extreme right or the first glass on my right. This very glass with the stem. This very glass with the stem. This glass is called the white wine glass. You know, we have different types of wine. So we have the white wine, the red wine, and then we have one that has a blend of both the white and then the, the, the red, which is called the rosé. We have the sparkling wine. So this is the white wine glass. And the white wine glass usually is the glass that is smaller in nature and what it does is that it is used for having your white wine so you see a lot of people having your white wine by using this particular glass and when you see the next glass that is by it it's a glass that is quite taller than the white wine glass and this very glass is called the red wine glass this glass is usually taller than the white wine glass and also has a bigger base than that of the white wine the reason why this is quite taller and also has a bigger base than the white wine is that the red wine usually allows aeration so when you have your wine in it, it allows air to enter into the wine and some people also want to sniff the wine or want to breathe in the wine whilst having their wine. Um, when the air also mixes with the wine, it makes the wine have a very good texture or have a very good feel. So we have the red wine glass which is taller than the white wine glass and it's used for your red wine. So the use of this particular glass is for red wine consumption. You don't go and serve juice in this glass. If this is the only glass that is served, then you can have it for your juice. But when you have this glass and any other glasses there, know that the main purpose of this glass is to have wine with it. And the particular type of wine to have with it is the red wine that you are supposed to use. So we have the white wine, then we have the red wine. Then you can see a very slim glass that looks like the white wine or the red wine glass, but it is not used for any of them. This is your sparkling wine glass and it is usually called the flute you see it is very slim in nature and it looks as if it's a flute so the name of this glass is called the flute and what you actually use this glass for is for your champagne so you have your sparkling wine you have your champagne served at any event you use this glass and you, you realize that most events that you go for and toast a toast has been um, proposed or people say let's let's make a toast you realize that a lot of people hold this particular type of glass so the main purpose of this glass is used to consume a beverage called the sparkling wine or the champagne so that is the main purpose of this glass it's called the flute then we move to the next glass which is shorter in nature but it also has a stem this very glass this very glass is called the snifter it's called the snifter and usually the beverage that is consumed or the drink that we use this glass for is called the cognac or when you have your brandies your cognacs or your amagnacs so you can use this particular glass to have this kind of drinks and um, this drink is a drink that is consumed with glass so you, you see a lot of people holding the glass in this way and the name of the, the glass even depicts 
the, the potency or how good the drink is. So the snifter, anytime a drink is served in this glass, you should know that the drink is of a certain class and a certain class of people consume it. So you see them most of the times holding the glass this way, then when, whenever they sip, they sniff at the same time. They want to inhale the, the, the particles or let's say the things that were used in producing the drink because it's a very expensive drink that is used for this particular glass. So the name of this glass is called the snifter. You don't go and serve soda, let's say Coke, Fanta or something into this glass. The name of this particular glass is called the snifter. And we use um, our brandies. We serve our brandies here. We serve our cognacs here. We serve our amanyacs here. And by cognacs, I mean brands like um, Remy Martin, Hennessy, and there are different types and different families. I'll be teaching us very well on the types of cognacs we have and then the different brands that we have. Um, the next glass here with the stem is called the Margarita glass. This particular glass is used for consuming a particular cocktail called the Margarita cocktail. So that is the use of this glass. So it's actually a cocktail glass. You use it to have a cocktail called Margarita. This is how the, um, the glass looks. So it is not a wine glass, even though it has a stem and looks at, like the white wine glass or the red wine glass. Now I'm going to move to the next glass that is behind the Margarita glass. This one is short in nature. And the name of this glass is called the whiskey glass. Now you can have all types of whiskey. Any whiskey that you want to have, um, be it um, um, Jack Daniels, Red Label, Blue Label, Black Label, JMB. There are a lot of um, whiskeys. You use this glass, and if you want to have it neat, this is called a whiskey glass. This is used for consume, consuming all kinds of whiskeys. Then the next glass behind or next to the whiskey glass is this very short glass. Now, most of you will be very familiar with this glass and it's called a tequila glass. If you want to have your tequila in short, you want to have your tequila at the bar in short, this is the particular glass to use for that. So this is called the tequila glass. It's very short in nature. You just have your short and then you are gone. So that is the purpose of this glass. There are different types of the tequila glass. So there is one, two, this one and then this one. They are all types of tequila glasses or let's say varieties of the tequila glasses. Don't forget that. Then we have this very big one that looks like a jug. This very glass, you can use it to consume all your beers. So anytime you go out and then you see this very big glass, there are different types of beer glasses. You can equally use this glass for your beers that are served in a restaurant. Then the next glass that I want to talk about is this very long glass. This is called the highball glass. The highball glass, the purpose of this glass is you use it to drink your water, you use this to drink your fresh juice, you use this to also drink, um, let's see, if a smoothie is served in the restaurant. So the name of this glass is called the highball glass. It's used for consuming your water and then your juices anytime you're having a meal in the house, having a dinner, having lunch or having breakfast. You are going to find these glasses mostly for your water and then for your fresh juices. Then the next one is also a juice glass but it is short in nature than the very high ball glass so this is equally a juice glass that you can use to have your water you can also use to have your fresh juice so the name of this glass is also called a juice glass but it is shorter than this this is the high ball and this is just a juice glass now there are different types of whiskey glasses as i indicated earlier on this is um, a whiskey glass but there are also different types so when you see this one anywhere else this is also a whiskey glass when you find this one anywhere else when you find this as well it is also a whiskey glass so these are the different types of glass at least anywhere you find yourself you can at least find a variety or a family of all of these glasses anywhere you go out or anywhere you go to have a meal so this has been the different varieties or different families of glasses that you find anywhere you go or anywhere you step out to a restaurant to have a meal don't forget to like our videos subscribe to our channel share and then comment on our videos see ya peace out